part two of my mission trip thing. <laughs> it's Joy Joying Jesus, mostly Jesus today. So, um, I made a part one video about my mission trip to Mexico with my family and my church. It was great. If you haven't watched it, you should totally watch it, cause, or else this video, well actually it will make sense. You should watch it because God's great and I did some, well not me, God did some pretty great stuff through me and my family and my church and I'm going to stop and continue on into the future. So, um, I have a video of um, my next two days on my trip. I was there for six days and this is my part two video and um, I'm going to talk about my activity day and all the fun we got to have in Mexico and hopefully you guys will enjoy the video and if you have any comments or questions totally feel free to comment and um all right let's do it um the next day was called feed the neighborhood day and um this day was so fun so it started off kind of interesting so we got a new group of people and these people these people's names um, were, uh, the first guy, his name was Jesus, but he went by Shoes, and he was super friendly and super nice, and, um, the other guy's name, I believe it was Ruben, um, him and his wife Megan were there, and we went to, um, the Mercado, the market, and they went and were like, oh, we're gonna go buy, like, a thousand hundred million pounds of vegetables and food, you guys can go do American things and eat candy and stuff, yes, and, my sisters got some sugar cane, and I got some raw honey for my friend Rachel. I hope you like the honey, Rach. And I also got um, a mug for my Spanish teacher, and she loved it. It was super fun. There was weird fruit everywhere, and I would say, oh, uh, muy buena, and he'd be like, uh, the guy at the fruit counter would be like, bueno, because we're talking about this. And, like, everybody was helping me and correcting me and speaking to me in Spanish and working with my Spanglish, and it was just... I use my Spanish vocabulary so much. Um, my dad got a really huge sombrero that's like this big. And it was really fun to wander around and talk in Spanish. And once the truck was filled with this mound of vegetables, we drove to the neighborhood itself. And um, the neighborhood was this big neighborhood. <laughs> on a dusty hill and the instant we drove up, the instant we drove up, kids started flooding down the stairwell that led to the parking lot area, parking lot area. Oh my gosh, it made my heart stop for a second because these kids knew we were coming to feed them and their moms were trailing behind them with grocery bags like, oh wait for me, I'm gonna come help you get the food. And the kids are like, ah! And then there were teenagers driving through on bicycles, like, yes. And it was just, oh, it was awesome. So we formed another assembly line. Um, I got to hand out tomatoes, and they were in these big crates. And my sister Megan got to hand out carrots, and some people in our group got to hand out handfuls of jalapenos and habaneros and potatoes, and it was, oh, it was awesome. We formed this assembly line, and shoes is over there, singing and being grand, and, um, it was just awesome. And after we handed out all the f um, food, we would say, God bless you in Spanish. That wasn't the end of the day. Don't get fooled. We got to go to an orphanage and do our puppet show again. And it was so much fun. The kids were so smart. You could play with some little boys, soccer outside, and spike ball, which I'm really bad at, but that was made it more fun. And um, Megan and I played memory cards with these two little boys and their dorm room and um, just the faith and the hope and the joy that these kids have even though they're um, in an orphanage was pretty incredible and um, I, I feel like I, I left a lot of friends in Mexico. It wasn't like I was working with strangers who were poor or anything. It was like I was working with children of God that are just like me that like to smile and laugh and are good at gymnastics or phenomenal at soccer or like to play with dolls and it was it was really fun and um then we went back to the dorm and got to sleep and it was great and again i took a really long nap because i was totally exhausted and 
and I'm super sorry, but you're gonna have to learn about the rest of my trip in my next video. Bye!